the genetic or racist explanation. You write that by the middle of the 20th century, even, in a, even a leading proponent of the influence of genetic factors, such as the famous, infamous, I suppose to many people, Arthur Jensen mm. of the University of California, Berkeley, up the road here, rejected the idea of an IQ ceiling for some groups. Would mm -hmm. you explain what that means? Well, as Jensen said, uh, why are you surprised that there are black children with IQs of 115 and above? That, in, the, in the earlier time, in the early 20th century, uh, it was thought that there was a ceiling so low that you had to make sure that certain people simply did not reproduce. That's the whole eugenics movement, right. which was very big. And there were eugenics courses by the hundreds in uh, colleges and universities across the country. Uh, and so Jensen reject, re rejects that kind of rendition of it. Well, 